Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Rajput Reich campaign in Europe Universal 4. We're ahead of time on military tech. We're not doing a military idea group and we're still focused on military, which seems like a mistake. We're the most behind on which technology? Administrative. Alright, let's go ahead and we're going to focus administrative ideas. And then, um, I do think I'm going to raise war taxes. This war is going to be going on for quite a while. Um, it'll give us a bunch of money, which we already have a bunch of money, but... Hey, you know, more money's good money. More money's good. How are we doing on naval force limit? Over. We have no more room for more men. We do on core our uh, autonomy. We have a few that are at negative ten. All right, I'll do the negative nines. I'm not going below negative nines. It's a shame to have to give up this mountain area, but, you know, he's, for some reason he's going after, what are you doing in Suez? You're suffering 5% attrition to park your army in Suez. 10% attrition. Oh god, if he, if he brings like 150,000 troops and hits me over here right now, he will win that fight pretty easily. Okay, his, his attention is not here. His attention is way over here. He's got two... Two, like, armies that he's focusing on. Right here. Oh my god, 92,000 men now in one stack. He's got his entire army here. There's 140-some thousand troops here. 149,000 troops. <laughs> my god. That's just crazy. I mean, there's a river, right? At least. There's a river. Okay, so. Oh, man. Um, Ottomans? What are you doing with this army? 171,000 manpower now. I mean, he's gonna, he's gonna wreck my army. Absolutely. We're gonna have to put... <laughs> there's no supply here at all. He's really upset that I took the war goal. Alright, I'm starting to think maybe that uh, going down here is not gonna work either. Let's get you over here, and then the other army as it comes across will be fine. Are you actually coming to engage me? You are. That seems wrong. Okay, well, let's uh, let's watch the attrition happen. I mean, he's going to lose 5% of 150,000, so that would be 7,500 troops just to move into Kahir. And if it was arid, he'd lose 10%. He's not even contributing the entire army. There's a small chance this siege will be allowed to complete, so... Yeah, he's gonna be there, so... Okay, um, is there anything else I can do right now to make us stronger before this fight? I don't think there is. We already have morale of armies. I would really like a disciplined guy. Yeah, he suffered the crossing penalty. He's led with his 6-4. We actually do have a... No, he's a fi he has the fire advantage, but... Yeah, we're gonna lose. Easily. But that fight, I, I was gonna say, that didn't seem right. I don't know why he did that, but thanks for the war score. Okay, the battle can conclude on the 13th. As long as we hold out to the 13th. Look at this, just massive combat with... He's got more artillery than I do. He's got better discipline by far. We have better morale, but he's got a better leader. We have better um, artillery fire value. Can you not see artillery fire on on the score? Regiment strength, flanking range. It doesn't sh it doesn't show the value, but he's still on tech 21, so we know that we've got artillery fire plus four. 4.4 4 to his like two. So our artillery are better at least. They do a lot more damage. But, it's not gonna matter. We're gonna have to hold out to the 13th and then do a Shattered Retreat. Actually, we can we can technically do a Controlled Retreat. Um, on one of the armies. Let's let you Shatter to, like, down here. And then you, we can Controlled Retreat to... 
Hmm. I don't want to leave this army behind. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. So he lost like six, eight, eight thousand some. We lost way more than he did. This every time we fight him, it's it's gonna be a bad fight. But now he's gonna at least suffer another. 5% attrition tick, which is good. And even despite that battle, we're still technically winning. Uh, we have more war score from battles than he does. Since his attention's not over here and he has no leaders, I'm going to go for that with that 40 stack. So you'll arrive on the 17th, four days. Not soon enough to get a... Well, actually, you will. Look at that. We might even get lucky... And the additional troops here. Are you not going to arrive? Ah. Shoot. I think that he arrived after the... Uh, I was hoping the f for the 42% chance to take it. Well, we're going to have to give up the siege because it's not going to happen. The AI always seems to want to just sit around after it loses a... After it wins a fight. Or loses a fight. If it can. Just to get its morale up before it moves. But big chunk of it apparently had good morale. Head to the mountains. Fourth, first. He's not forced marching, so that's good. I wonder if he's out of military points. You're going to go down that way, cross the strait, and come back up. You guys are going to go reinforce something with the mountains. And we're going to head straight to them. I'm hoping he can't catch me. We might need a forced march once we get to Ghazi. Yeah, I'm going to. Can't get caught on the flatlands again. It's only four military points, and we're not going to cross over a month. I think we can turn it off now. Just one province of forced march. This guy's got four maneuver, so his ability to recover is really solid. It's basically the same thing as being in an in friendly territory. So we'll just hang out right there. Meanwhile, this army's going to go up there. These guys might as well come up here and blockade. He's probably going to go and take back the war goal. Most likely he'll assault it. And in the meantime, I'm going to wreck some more of his manpower. He's down by... When I first started paying attention to it, he was at like 200, so... He is losing manpower, which is a good sign. We'll arrive on the 31st. Why don't we go ahead and reset that so we arrive on the 2nd and we get one more, one more recovery tick. Since we're not at full strength. This is mountains, but there's like no reinforcement that's close enough to, to help out. And uh, we should still do very well. He's going to try to reinforce, but I don't think he's going to make it in time. Nice one war score. Okay, um, yeah, he's not assaulting. I'm surprised by that. I still feel like, okay, a Shattered Retreat, you should still be able to tell them where you want them to go after they finish Shattering. Like, I know I can't, like, break their Shatter, right? But I should be able to click here and have it be like a Shift queue. Like, he should Shatter to there and then, like, I shouldn't have to wait until he gets there to be able to tell them what I want them to do. Koch, what are you doing? 28th. Fourth. Sixth. Come on, you're making this unnecessarily complicated, Gotch. Thank you. Oh, gosh. You bastard. You distracted me from the Ottomans. Well, we won that fight. The Ottomans are wrecking Persia. But he's got two leaderless armies out here that I want to fight. 
So I think we move into here. I need to get a I need to get a leader. Okay, you as I was saying need to come up here. Since I couldn't order him around. You are gonna still move into the mountains. And even though that fight went poorly, apparently we did do a pretty good job of wrecking their morale. But he's moving forward with a 641 to man. And a lot of men. 40 some thousand troops. So we're just gonna hang out in Tabuk. So Conch is going to die. This 20 stack is now available. You are both going to the same place, apparently. He's not going to continue. Right? Ah, oh, hello. He's looking at 11 war score. Oh my goodness. No. Not this war. Okay, so that war's done, and assuming that they let me cross the strait, this war's done. He is still trying to get back the war goal, and when he does get it, he's going to instantly gain 10 war score again, but it's not really going to matter too much. And he's moved part of his army away. He might, maybe, leave this army kind of on its own on the 4th. And we will arrive on Mon in on the eighth, so we cannot beat him there. All right, so we got a good event, it looks like. Nice, Luxtella, the thread of fate is fickle. You want to name him Johan two six five three four six. So what is that? Eleven thirteen points. That is thirteen points as well. That's 12 points. Well, we're ahead on military, so I wouldn't really... I mean, having more military focus is not that great. Um, they're all really, really good military leaders. Holy crap. Let's go for... Um, I gotta go for the one one of the ones with 13 points. We'll go for this guy. Johan. Welcome, Johan. How old is Johan? He's a baby. Just a baby. Little baby. Uh, interesting. We don't get to use him for quite a while, but. Alright, the Auto Man are at 157,000 manpower. It's it's working its way down. We're losing some too, but they're losing more. I think. And what I care about the most is actually, are they taking on loans? They've not taken on any more loans. We have a nice war chest. They do not. And, uh... I don't think they've been buying down their war exhaustion, so... So eventually, it's going to go really poorly for them. This is like probably the last dangerous war that we're going to fight. So we lost the war goal, but we actually have positive war score from battles. Plus three. We'll get all Wahat back. This is another easy fight since he's not putting a leader here. Nice. That's a different war. We could try to siege this back for our little buddy, but I don't really care about him. I'd rather kill this army. We will arrive on the 25th. There's no chance of him taking it. There's no reinforcements nearby. Let's wait about a week. So we can get our re uh, recovery tick. Before that engagement. We do have room for another regiment. We'll go slightly over. I don't mind going like 3 over, I just didn't want to go 10 over. Especially with war taxes raised right now. And we still have our tech advantage. I really need discipline. Alright, so he has a 22 stack. The 6-5 moving into 
flat territory. I, I would almost consider engaging that. 42 on 24. If the 34 was farther away, like if he moves further in, I would probably take that fight. So let's move to Medina in hopes that he goes on to Jabal Shamar. Oh no, he's actually trying to come into these mountains. Okay. Well, on the 17th then... No, nope, he canceled. Okay, another good fight happened. No, he is going to Jabal Shamar. If he gets two provinces over, I'll take the fight. One of our generals just died. We gotta hire another one. It's too important that we have good leaders. Ugh. What kind of crap is this? Kiam, your whole job, Kiam, is gonna be to siege stuff. Because that's all you're good at. I just... That's so crap. I can't... I can't do that. 2223. God damn it. 1233 three or a 2223? Two, 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 hmm. Probably prefer the 2 2. A little bit less maneuver, but that fire pit might actually make a difference. Okay, so we wait until the 26th, and this it won't be this way in the next patch, because in the next patch, once they've contributed, once they've committed halfway to the movement, they can't cancel. So we're going to catch that army, and that fight should go pretty well. Something like that should be fine. Kill Uzbek's army. These guys are going to come over and reinforce. Continuing to grind away at the Ottoman manpower. I'm losing more manpower than they are now. Like, it's not good. That part's bad. We have 30,000 manpower that needs to still yet recover, but... 42 on 25, despite their discipline and, and leader advantage, I think we should be able to win this fight. We have a morale advantage. Still have our technology advantage. We rolled really well there. Oh, seven to his eight. Kill. Nice. We stack wiped it. Damn. Sometimes, when you're right, you're right. We're going to want to keep these armies in friendly territory for a bit, I think. Because these are the ones that need to reinforce a tremendous amount. Supply is pretty not good. It's going to have to be Medina. This army is, well, it needs to reinforce quite a bit as well. It's going to move to Tempuk. Got to get the war goal back. How's that enthusiasm there, Ottomans? 59 still? Well, it's not going to last. It's a 45 stack here. I'm still going to kill the, the Uzbeks. That'll just be a stack wipe. Just go squish before he can get there. Come on. Thank you. And now if he attacks, if he continues, we'll be the defender, which should actually go pretty well. I do not want to engage him in the mountains, although he has no leader around here at all. Interesting. Well, if we weren't at, um, if we had better reinforcements, I might actually consider it. Tell you what, let's get one take of recovery. Ming has gone bankrupt. We're going to shift consolidate. I'm going to throw away the uh, the damaged infantry. Have them go join another army. And then we're going to actually, yeah, we're going to go engage this army with in the mountains. I don't care. We'll arrive. We'll kill the sixth stack. He has decided to not engage this army. Probably a wise move. We're going to hang out in these mountains then and take these provinces back.
Negative 49% chance. My god, that's really well defended. Um, more than blockading the Ottomans, I think we should probably blockade this guy and just get this out of the way. Alright, cool. Well, I think the war's going well. Um, it, it could have gone a lot better if we hadn't lost that initial mountain fight and if they weren't so damn disciplined. But I do think it's going to go well. Ottomans are down to 150. And their actual army is at 126. So we are crushing on army size. And their manpower will quickly disappear as they, as they reinforce the ranks up to their 194 force limit. But then also, um, curious to see if they're going to actually take on any more loans. They haven't yet. Alright, I'll take a break here though, and I'll, uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.